Hey, how's it going? Love your video, uh, Black Woman Unmarried. <laughs> Love the dissemination of light and knowledge shared between one man and another. Um, yeah, so I just had a couple of things that I wanted to touch on. Um, uh, the requirements, the dating outside of the race, how to treat a man, and not acting like a hoe. Uh, let's see, the requirements. I don't know that I have any requirements for, uh a man uh, well I, I take that back I would like it if you have your own place and I would like it if you have a job uh, now if I'm with you you have a job you lose your job uh, depending on why you lost your job or whatever I'm there with you you know what I'm saying but if I meet you and you don't have a job that I probably you know I'm not interested um, so those are the requirements uh, and just to give you an insight on on where I'm at right now excuse me um I'm 43 or I'll be 43 in March and I'm with a uh, black man he's 48 we've been together now for five and a half years uh, he doesn't have any kids I don't have any kids he uh, has never been married and I decided after I got my first divorce in my 20s that I would never marry again so we kind of have this understanding it's been working out uh, I appreciate it. We communicate. Um, so, you know, so far, so good. But like I say, any day, any time, anywhere, a relationship can end. So I'll say just for today, he and I are together. I'm satisfied with the, with, with the relationship, and I thank God for it. Uh, as far as dating outside of your race, uh, I, you know, <laughs> it's funny because my father cheated on my mother uh, when I was like, a year or two old uh, with a white woman and ended up leaving my mother and marrying that white woman divorcing that white woman marrying another woman and a woman after that uh, I think that the fourth wife is a charm uh, but yeah so I kind of learned early on that you know black people didn't have to stay with black people and white people didn't have to stay with white people or you know what I'm saying um, so would I date outside of my race probably if I you know found someone that I connected with you know I wouldn't you know, ex name them because of their race. Uh, I'm basically trying to get along with or get, you know, click with uh, another individual. And, and I believe I have found that individual now. But like I said, just for today. Uh, so um, as far as ways to treat a man, I don't know. I, I tend to treat the person. Uh, but I know that there are certain things that a, a man, you know, might expect like cooking, cleaning, raising the kids. Um, you know, I can cook, I can clean, uh, I don't have any children, don't want any children, um, he doesn't have any children, so that, you know, is, uh, no, but, uh, if I were in a marriage, in a relationship, I would like to raise the kids, um, so, uh, I would like to do all those things and, you know, uh, where you treat a man the way he wants to be treated. And again, I say I treat the person, you know, I find out what likes, what likes he has, what dislikes he has, and, you know, kind of like work according to that. And hopefully he'll do the same for me. And if we do that consistently, uh, successfully, uh, we can continue to have a relationship. Um... So that's as far as how to treat a man. Um, acting like, not acting like a hoe. Well, I, you know, I'm pretty much old fashioned. I'm kind of a prude. Uh, but uh, so I, I've never really been one to sleep with a whole bunch of different guys. I've always been, you know, monogamous in my relationships. Uh, but, you know, that's, I mean, if, if, you know, I believe that if a woman wants to sleep with several men, fine the only thing that I would say she might want to consider is safe sex but uh you know more power to a woman who can have a couple brothers on the roster you know and still keep her head together and not you know get caught up in you know other drama that could come along with that um so uh, as far as acting like a hoe is concerned I'm not sure I know what you mean about that but um well I know what you mean but I'm just saying you know, that may be okay. I mean, if guys sleep around with a couple of different women, then, you know, they're not considered hoes. They're considered players. You know what I'm saying? But that's a whole different video. 
Um, so I just want to say um, thank you so much for that video. Uh, and I also like your video, uh, Single Men 101. I know you told the women to kind of like click off, get lost. But, you know, I'm one of the women, and I'm sure I wasn't the only one, to watch that video. And it was interesting to hear you, uh, you know, talk to the, you know, men out there. Um, love your, uh, gossip to your videos through What the Buck. Uh, he made a comment saying that he gets all of his subscriptions of your videos in his box. And I was like, well, who is this person that, you know, What the Buck is subscribed to that has issues with respect to people receiving their you know, um, subscription. So I checked you out. Have been a fan ever since. I think it's been all of like two days. But uh, yeah, so um, love your videos. My favorite are the fast food joint one. <laughs> Forget about your diet and meet me at the fast food joint. That is some crazy shit. That's hilarious. Loved it. And uh, the one about the sales, the car salesman. Yeah, check that out. I got, I looked at that uh, on your Ace of Juice uh, website, which is great because I tried to get uh, access to a lot of your videos through your channel, but it's it doesn't seem like it's very up to date. So um, yeah, anyway, love your videos. Just want to you know give my insights on this whole black woman unmarried thing, um, and that's about it. Talk to you later. Bye.